Welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. This is going to be part five of me working on my 200 cubic inch six cylinder engine. And it's going to be installing the rocker arm shaft and adjusting all of the rocker arms. And also, I'm going to prime it, get some oil pressure through it. Pump oil up into all the rockers and uh, guess since the last video obviously I put on a power steering pump and I also installed a Borgeson power steering unit in the car What's that that black thing there the whole new steering box and then the power steering lines go into those yellow fittings at the top and I had to take the steering out that was in the car and that is this steering box and there's the steering shaft that went up to the steering wheel I spent three to four hours trying to get this pitman arm off of this power steering, not power steering, manual steering box. I tried three different pitman arm pullers that you can go up to the auto parts store and rent. I tried heating the thing with the puller under tension using a propane torch and a butane, butane torch. I beat on it and after about four hours I gave up. I just ordered myself a new pitman arm to go on the new Borgeson unit. It's gonna go on that that big nut. That's, uh, where's that nut? That one right there. And I took the old column out. Everything's a mess in here. And, um, I'm putting a floor shift in, so I'm eliminating this Prindle, the park reverse neutral drywall. This column was broke. Years ago, my friend Jim made these brackets for it. And um, I'm not gonna use that column. I have a column from a 67 Mustang that doesn't have any of this stuff on it. So it'll be a little bit easier. In fact, I already got that in the car. It's this one. And uh, I didn't paint it yet. I'm gonna be putting a smaller steering wheel on it. Smaller than the factory wheel. It's just one of those Grant wheels. And uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So this video is going to be about rocker arms. Okay, I thought I hit record when I put the rocker assembly on, but I didn't. Go ahead and fire me. But there, it's on. There's only six bolts that hold it down. And they're torqued to the proper torquage, which I already forgot. 35, I believe. And I have all of the uh, rockers loose. I loosen them all up so I take all the tension off that spring that's inside the lifter. And I marked my distributor with the correct firing order. I'm going to turn the distributor to the number one position and then adjust the number one rockers right now i'm trying to find the socket that i just had to go on the crank bolt so i can turn the engine okay i got it it's 13 16 okay so let me spin this around Okay, there's number one on the distributor firing order so these two are very loose 
and you can see there's a lot of spring movement on that plunger inside the lifter because there's I did not fill them up with oil. I want them empty for when I do this procedure. Now there, I don't know if you can hear that. There's a lot of slop there. Now, one way you can do it is you spin the push rod and then tighten the adjuster nut until all the slack is out. That's kind of tough when the, they're this loose because there's, it's so easy to push down on that spring. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it so I can feel the play go away or almost go away right there. Then I'm going to use a, a feeler gauge. This is a five thousandths. In fact, I'm going to get a, even a thinner one than that. Here's like a two thousandths. Now, two thousandths, that'll work. And what I'm going to do, since it's too hard to find that zero lash point with this much spring movement, I'm going to put the feeler gauge in there, turn this nut until the, I can feel resistance on the feeler gauge. Just go a little bit more. Now, I know I'm at zero lash, so I'm going to go a full turn in. Well, there's one turn. Okay, do the same thing over here. Get the slap out of there. Feeler gauge. I'm doing it slow so I get it correct. All right, so now I go one turn. That one's set. So now number one is set. Firing order is 1543624. So I turn it over till number five is firing. That means that these two are loosey goosey. So rinse and repeat. Of course, I'm going to get it close by hand. Put the feeler gauge in there. Okay, one turn. Next one. Same thing. Right there. One turn. All right, so you get the idea. I'm not going to bore you with me adjusting the rest of them, but I'm going to go through the firing order and set them all one turn in from zero lash. Okay, now that the rockers are all adjusted, I'm going to prime the engine. I have an old distributor that I gutted, hook it to a drill. I'm just using it so I can turn this shaft, which will turn the oil pump. So I'm gonna stick that in there. I already put five quarts of oil in the engine. I'm using engine breaking oil, SAE 30 high zinc from Lucas. Uh, the cam and lifters are already broke in, but I want to make sure that the piston rings have a good chance of sealing. Okay, so there's an oil pressure gauge here. I think you can see it if my arms aren't in the way. It's going to take a lot of pressure and time to build up 
enough oil to get through the whole engine and then get up into this rocker shaft before it comes out of all the rockers. So this is going to probably take a minute or two, but here we go. There, oil pressure is building up. You can see it on the gauge there. That's spinning it slow. This distributor is bent, so you know it's uh I could put it on high and see if we can get more than 40, but it's gonna shake this thing apart here. Yeah, it got up to around 48 or so, but uh I'm gonna leave it on slow. In fact, what I should do, and I will do. I'm going to turn the engine over as I do this. Well, that was nice. I just got done painting that water pump pulley. It's like I'm going to have to do it again. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, if we got oil coming out of here yet, yeah, watch. I think I might be seeing it. Let me rotate this some more and keep going here. might be able to see that on camera it's dripping out of the rockers so we're in good shape and I can see it dripping out of every one of them all right so the oil system is primed of course i'll do that again before i put it uh you know once it's in the car before i put the distributor in for, for good and uh, that'll just help on startup plus right now i know all those lifters are full of oil and i'll bring you back for the next stage of the process